Hey guys, today we're building a web shooter. guys so you just saw that montage of me showing off these web shooters in this video we are building a retractable web shooter i'm gonna show you guys what parts you need and how to build it all right guys so the main thing you're gonna need for this so there's three things you're probably gonna need well two in general first thing is this badge reel now you're probably wondering what is the badge reel for this is the part that actually makes it retract. Now you're wondering, you chuck it, it does nothing. That's because there has to be weight on it. So I grabbed a few things over here. This is a pack of magnets I have. These are, can lift up to 40 pounds, but like you can barely move them when you lift up to 30 pounds. So they're 40 pounds, whatever they're weighted for. So pretty much literally the main setup is for this is you grab a magnet, now, probably the best kind of zip reel for this is one of them that has these on it. And I'm probably wondering why one of these, because you're going to need a strap on it. And the strap can slide under here so you don't have to glue it on here. Well, I glue the strap on here anyways, but you have this. And uh, this part, this is actually pretty helpful. So. I've actually made a web shooter before. This is for my left hand. I'm going to, uh, I've actually made one for my right as well, but that one broke. I put too much tape over this. So I'll get on to that. So in the main web shooter, the way I designed the left one is better than the right one because it's a lot smaller. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, if you look right here, we have a, uh, magnet magnet on here i used electric tape just because like it was the best tape to look for this zip zip uh badge reel forgot the name for a second and uh yeah use the badge reel you uh the main setup for this is you grab your badge reel just like this and then, judging from my left one, I use this one because it's a better setup. So, by looking at this one, I can tell which side it was on. So, you're going to wrap this. So, here's the bottom. The bottom, I got to look at a few things. Sorry. The bottom uses a... Uh, special thing right here so it's gonna wrap over so that's what it does it wraps over so what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and get this part close as possible to the center because that's the best spot for it to be just like that and then this is gonna fold over and it doesn't have to go in the center it just has to fold over now see what to do after this is uh let me find it Got your electrical tape. Now, what you do for this is you pretty much grab your electrical tape. Now, you don't want to use too much tape because the tape will cover up the magnet. And the magnetism decreases exponentially over distance. And uh, you want this to be as uh, magnetic as possible. So, what I did here was I grabbed strand you tape it over on the side just like that now 
just don't put so you can put tape on here you can put as much as you want but i'm telling you you want like a the least amount of tape like you want to be able to tape this enough so that it will stick but you don't want to tape it to the point where it's literally like covered in tape so obviously this is good so i'm gonna wrap it up here so it's on the side got some scissors snip that and uh that's pretty much your web shooter literally that's pretty much it now this part so there's two different ways you can do it so you can either put it on like this have a strap go through here on the top so it's like that and like the strap is covering it or you can do it like this that's the way i like it and uh literally that's all it does now you literally just put a strap through this just like that and it's literally done and this should be your result now this is my uh left one one for my left arm i'm thinking i might use this as my right arm because it's brand new and also because they're both similar so it should make it easier and uh yeah i'm gonna show you guys what these web shooters can do guys that is how you build your very own web shooter now a lot of things that are good about this web shooter are three things one the magnet flips back on it so it's not clunky at all it's literally like it's pretty much smaller than a watch pretty much literally i can flick my wrist back and then the magnet will come out so i can literally i literally just grabbed on something that's how you build your own web shooter. I made two of them. You can build your own at home. Next, eh, next episode. <laughs> next episode, I am building a actual web shooter. This is more like a web slinger, I guess you'd call it. You can still stick on to stuff. Look, I'm literally sticking on to something right now. Next episode, I am going to be making a web shooting web that actually acts like web fluid from the movie Spider-Man. And it's amazing. I've already got the supplies coming in next week's video. See you guys later. Peace out.